a big and huge 3D printer by Alegu is going to be on Kickstarter. Should you back the Orange Storm Giga? Stay tuned to find it out right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. While this lady is taking a print of a giant 3D printer, which looks very familiar with another 3D printer that I know of, well, she is taking this part of a giant 3D printer. It's called Orange Storm Giga by Elegoo, not Titan, but Orange Storm, which I find very weird because previously everything was called like a planet. Not Titan? What is wrong? I mean, Orange Storm Giga. Just try to say it a few times out loud. Is that a reference for any anime or some Asian kind of thing that I'm not aware of? Please let me know in the comments because I'm eager to know. This is a printer with a printing volume of 800 times 800 times 1000. It's big. It's very big. It has a high quality craftsmanship from Elegoo. No questions about that because I know Elegoo makes great machines. It runs a clipper. It has a portable 7 inch screen. You don't want to have a 2.4 inch screen on a giant 3D printer like that. It has a multi nozzle printing functionality. Don't confuse it with an IDEX 3D printer. It's not. Up to 300 millimeters per second print speed, but they recommend 150 millimeters per second. Efficient heated bed and also a power loss recovery. Because you have a big 3D printer, you also need to have heavier parts. The corners looks like they are 4040 alumina extrusions, like on the Corelli 10 6. Big, chunky building box for this 3D printer. Well, when you are checking the upper part of the printer, it looks more like 2020s but I'm not really sure. The bottom side, also very massive because everything relies on that. There should also be at least two, maybe even three power supply units inside of the base of this 3D printer. Then taking a little note on the USB thumb drive. Why would you put a USB thumb drive on the bottom of this 3D printer. Of course, there are the electronics in the base. Why not having the USB thumb drive on the top of the 3D printer, which makes more sense because here, how quickly is it going to happen that the USB thumb drive is going to be kicked or even broken off of this printer? Well, looking at it, we see very thick, smooth rods. They are massive. And also making sure that these lead screws that they are using, that it are ball lead screws instead of the normal standard lead screws you find on many 3D printers. Efficient heated bed with a maximum temperature of 90 degrees C, four platforms can be heated to reach 90 degrees over an entire area in 17 minutes. Just think about it, that in 17 minutes, this printer is heated up. That is a long time. I mean, some people say like, when your heated bed of a normal standard 3D printer is being heated up in three minutes, they will say like, oh, that's pretty normal, could be faster, but okay, it's decent. And also when you, when you see it, it are four individual PEI spring steel sheets together. Can you imagine the gaps for each of those panels lining up together? You will get some, maybe some weird artifacts on the bottom of your print or even having failed prints. Faster printing. Because it is using Clipper or it's running on Clipper, you will have something like a Raspberry Pi also inside of the electronics. They say like the maximum printing speed is 300 millimeters per second, but they recommend 150. So that means if you have a normal standard 3D printer, 50 millimeters per second printing speed, this 3D printer is three times faster than a normal standard 3D printer. Because yes, of course, it's six times faster than a normal standard 3D printer, but their recommended printing speed is 150, the half of it. Multi-nozzle printing, like mentioned, it is not an IDEX setup. You have four print heads that moves on the same way, on the same level. So no IDEXing, no mirror mode, only copy mode. Then I also notice here six holes. I don't know if it are holes or, you know, where some parts are attached to, but it's, um, it's interesting. Powerful cooling fan, of course, higher printing speed, Let's see if I can see other things. Okay, nice cable chain, looking good. So what they are using here as a direct drive extruder, it's something very similar on previous machines as well. Clipper firmware, we already discussed about it. It is not a Core XY system. I see here a stepper motor for the X axis. And then on this side, I see one stepper motor here and it drives over a timing belt, huge shaft. And that, you know, that moves the Y axis. Here you have the stepper motor running the Y axis. Then I also see one stepper motor on this side and one stepper motor on this side one timing belt just same setup as this really wow i see here a little spanner two lead screws on each side so four lead screws in total i see here also that if you are using just a little part of the printer only one side is going to be heated up and not wasting more energy than really needed large pool holder you can imagine that if you are printing with a large 3d printer you have bigger nozzles the standard give you a 0.6 millimeter nozzle it's a little bit bigger than a normal standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle if you are going to print 
bigger with these kind of 3D printers. Better to use 0.8 or one millimeter nozzle. If you're going to back this Kickstarter campaign, opt for the 0.8 or one millimeter nozzle instead of 0.4. What are you going to print? A Benji normal scale? Nobody is waiting for that, right? Large spool holder, normal FDM 3D printers. You are going to use one, maybe two kilo spools on your 3D printer. But with this one, you are going to consume a lot of filament. So going for three or five or even 10 kilo spools is going to be a normal thing. Yeah, very nice model. It looks very smooth. I don't see really layer lines. So, and of course, a doghouse because you can print it with this large format 3D printer. Clumsy dad breaking a plane and then he prints a small, <laughs> sorry, I need to say this, a small spaceship on this giant 3D printer. Give this son a bigger spaceship. Give him a Star Destroyer. Print it on that, you know, or Millennium Falcon. And also cool that they also mention here the designers of each model showcased in this video. So yeah, what does Zachary think about this giant 3D printer? For myself personally, I don't have any space or room for it in my studio because my studio is three by two meters. I've got already a lot of printers. Of course, I can always make a corner, but that means uh, other, a lot of other printers needs to move. It's too big. I don't have the really specs of this 3D printer yet. If you have room for it, if you have the space, if you have the money, money that you can miss and go for this Kickstarter campaign. I believe the price was 1,245 ish dollars. Bear in mind, this is a heavy printer. What are the shipping costs, the import fees? Before you're going to back this Kickstarter campaign, usually Kickstarter campaigns is like 40% of the retail price, 50%. I don't know what this printer is going to cost. I think like 2000 USD, 2500 USD. Nice printer. Maybe for me in the future, if I have more space, I will put the link in the description of this video uh, for the official page from the Elegoo Orange Storm. Please let me know. What do you think about this giant 3D printer? If you made it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching until this part. Also an amazing thanks for these supporters of this YouTube channel, the Patreon and also the YouTube channel members. All names are mentioned right over here. Thank you guys for your amazing support. You are part of the Z3DP printing gang. If you also want to support this channel uh, on a monthly base, the Patreon link is in the description of this video or you can also become a YouTube channel member. Check out the perks on the members site. If you want to support this channel otherwise, it is also possible. I want to reach like 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year it's i think nearly impossible but please hit the subscribe button like this video and share this video and other places on social media and uh, thank you so much for watching see you next time peace bye, -bye.